Item number SCP-2107 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-2107 are to be stored in a CNSI Note Compact Non-Sentient Inert Containment Locker at Site-19 Any number of instances may be moved to a refrigerated CNSI unit in advance of experimental trials. Mobile Containment Task Force Theta-61 Carbonation-Based Life Forms is responsible for coordinating routine screenings for new instances of SCP-2107 at retail venues which are considered probable locations for parents. Newly discovered instances are to be acquired by conventional methods when possible. For larger quantities or in cases where retailer's proprietor is deemed likely to become problematic, Acquisition Protocols 0014 Covert Theft, 0015 Overt Theft, and 0047 Impersonation of Federal Agency may be utilized with authorization from staff with security clearance 3 or higher. Individuals exposed to the anomalous properties of SCP-2107 are to be treated with Class A amnestics and remitted to the nearest civilian hospital for any medical care rendered necessary following exposure. Description SCP-2107 designates a soft drink brand known as Diet Ghost, which displays anomalous properties when imbibed. Note. Animal Testing Pending Approval SCP-2107 has to date only been encountered packaged by the individual can. Within 3 to 7 minutes of ingestion, subjects classified SCP-2107-A begin to experience paranormal activity that most often falls within the collectual expectations of an individual being haunted by a ghost or other paranormal entity. By a ghost or other paranormal entity. The effect continues until an as of yet undetermined point in the breakdown of SCP-2107 within the subject's body, approximately one to three hours after ingestion. Note, premature depletion of SCP-2107 through unusual means, such as emesis, gastric lavage, or the removal of organs currently containing the fluid from the appropriate bodily systems causes partial or total cessation of the effect. The death of SCP-2107-A will result in total cessation of all effects caused by the ingestion. Research has confirmed that the intensity of the haunting effect, herein defined by the quantity of individual paranormal facets, the probability of physical harm and the severity of said harm is directly proportional to the quantity of SCP-2107 imbibed. SCP-2107 cans are the traditional variety used for soft drinks, being uniform in design and non-anomalous in composition and behavior. The can features a light blue background with the Diet Ghost logo prominently featured. The catchphrase, Scare your thirst! appears beneath the logo. Most instances also have a sticker on the can with the text made with natural ghosts printed on it. It is unclear if cans lacking this sticker are distributed this way or if the sticker was removed before acquisition. The cans bear no nutritional information. The liquid contents are non-anomalous in chemical composition and within normal parameters for a traditional diet soft drink. Discovery. Initial discovery occurred on May 13th, 2012, when seven cans of 2107 were purchased by Foundation personnel at a local supermarket in Beep during a routine restocking of Site-19's recreational facilities. The partial remains of Beep, a senior maintenance assistant at Site-19, were found inside the van requisitioned from Site-19's vehicle pool for the purposes of the trip. Two cans were open and empty of contents when recovered. Beep, the junior maintenance assistant who had been assigned with Beep for the restocking duty, 
had gone back into the supermarket after having forgotten to procure a copy of the receipt of purchase for foundation records. According to Beep's account, Beep was alone for no longer than approximately five minutes. A majority of discoveries have occurred in convenience stores, with acquisitions from supermarkets and restaurants, accounting for nearly all additional cases. Note, despite the assessment of at least 46 anomalous events suggesting the ingestion of SCP-2107 as a causation factor, markedly few instances have been recovered outside of retail environments. Employees of retail locations where instances have been discovered have professed no prior knowledge of the product's existence and records of inventory acquisition have shown no references to SCP-2107. SCP-2107 has now been recovered from retailers in 37 states and two Canadian provinces. Production and distribution of SCP-2107 is currently under investigation. SCP-2107 Abridge Experiment Logs Level 2 Security Clearance Required For Dentist Approved, Access Recorded Note, each experiment was carried out using 1D class personnel, isolated, and an SHA, note, standard humanoid active, containment cell with closed circuit digital recording. Unless otherwise specified, no individual D class subject is used for more than one trial. Extraneous, insubstantial, and redundant results have been omitted for brevity. A vote version may be found in the SCP-2107 Extended Report. Trial Number Quantity of SCP-2107 Ingested in Milliliters Result 1. 30 milliliters Duration of trial was 1 minute 12 seconds. Subject reported audiovisual phenomena including hearing her name spoken softly shadowy figures at the edges of her vision, and the flickering of the lights, with the containment chamber that was not corroborated by the recorded footage. Note, please see SCP-2107 interview logs for unabridged transcripts of post-trial debriefings, level 3 security clearance required. Debriefing revealed the subject to have enjoyed the experience overall. Subject described the taste of SCP-2107 as bland but refreshing. 6. 90 milliliters. Subject experienced intermittent activity similar to the phenomena in previous experiments for over an hour before new effects presented. At 1 minute 20 seconds, the subject began to experience moderate bleeding from the nose without either without identifiable physical cause. Simultaneously, the recording equipment began to encounter interference of a magnetic nature that lasted for two minutes. This is noted as the first instance where activity was observable by non-SCP-2107-A sources in Foundation trials. The bleeding continued unabated for several minutes, causing severe distress to the subject. All effects ceased at 1 minute 28 seconds. 7. 90 milliliters. Trial begins with activity patterns identical to those described by the subject in trial 1. Subject's nose began to bleed. Subject's nose began to bleed at the 19 second mark. At 23 seconds, subject began misses due to a combination of distress and nausea caused by the presence of their own blood. This is evaluated to be purely physiological in nature and non-anomalous. Finding emesis, the majority of the activity ceased. Subject reported still having intermittent hallucinations in his peripheral vision until 48 seconds. 40. 150 milliliters. Subject began to experience phenomena similar to previous trials at 2 seconds which rapidly increases in intensity. The lights in the cell are seen to flicker briefly at 16 seconds by both the subject and supervising personnel. Subject reported the feeling of being lifted off the ground during this effect, but this is not visible in the footage. 
quantity of activity is approximate to previous trials, but level of intensity is significantly higher, as reported by subject. Events begin to subside at 54 seconds, and had seat entirely at 59 seconds. Subject observed taste as average, but expressed difficulty in elaborating upon this description. 31. 270 milliliters. Subject experienced no activity until 31 seconds, at which point all electronics within a 10 meter radius fell for approximately 17 seconds. When power returned, subject had fallen to the ground unconscious, and the trial was ended. Personnel entered the contained cell and confirmed the subject had expired. Upon autopsy, subject's body was found to be void of most major internal organs. No incision marks or signs of trauma were present. Note, future experiments are suspended without authorization from staff with security clearance for. Addendum, December 27th. 2014. Area B personnel have encountered and acquired a previously undiscovered packaging variant. Fifteen cans were produced by a vending machine in Area B's cafeteria. When the machine was opened for further inspection, no anomalous properties were discovered. These new instances of SCP-2107 featured changes to the design of the background, which now features white silhouettes of tombstones cats, and cartoonish ghosts interspersed between iterations of the logo. Of note is the addition of new stickers to the can in the same font as the catchphrase text. These stickers include new promotional phrases including From the makers of ghosts, 100% more spooky, satisfaction guaranteed, and your old favorite is back. All instances of SCP-2107 from every year beep or en route to Site-19 for containment and research trials to confirm whether the contents produced the same anomalous activity as previously recorded instances. The addition of vending machines to the list of prominent locations is under investigation, with revisions to object class and special containment procedures awaiting approval.